Good morning, Team Transforming Lives. It's Bobby here, and oh, my shoe just fell off. Um, it is, and I am going to talk to you today about when passion burns inside of you so much it hurts. So for most of my life, I I had small passion. I wasn't really a passionate person, and everything changed. I joined Young Living in 2006, and um, by somewhere around 2007, maybe late 2006. Uh, I developed real passion when God showed me um, the door that he was going to use to set me on my mission and he told me what that mission was and um, that passion burns truly so bad that it hurts um, when your heart is set on fire with a mission to go out and change the world sometimes it hurts sometimes it actually feels like like, it's like excitement, but it's anxiety, but it's, you know, you're not real. yeah, it's just everything. And when it burns inside of you so bad that it hurts. I know I got that passion and Travis and I had to share. We just had to share. And so we jumped out of our comfort zone in college. My biggest fear was speaking in front of um, anyone. Uh, if I had to speak in front of three people, I was on the verge of throwing up. And we prayed a prayer, Lord, help us bless people the way you blessed us because you changed our life. Uh, through a series of events, I met a reporter from the Des Moines Register. I didn't know he was a reporter. I just met him. I knew he was into natural health. I started putting him on our email loop. Uh, two months later, he came back and said he was a reporter for the Des Moines Register, and he wanted to do a story on it. At that moment, I we knew that God had heard our prayer, and he was going to use my biggest fear to answer that prayer, and that was to public speak. So we knew we had to follow that article up with a class. Now God, um, his dreams are way bigger than our dreams. And um, my first class, he um, sent 74 people to that class. And uh, at that time I wasn't sharing that I was a distributor. Oh, actually, I think I did put a business card in there, but I didn't tell people how to purchase the oils. I just shared and I set them on their way. And uh, for many years I taught for that reason. And um, you can bet, um, especially um, five or six years ago when I decided to do this as a business, you can bet we ran into opposition. Um, the, the people who have uh, negative belief patterns about money, I, I was one of them. I was one of those people um, telling you that I know that's not your heart, Bobby, but this is what um, network marketing is. And I'm like, I don't care. This is what, and actually I do care, and that's not what Young Living is. Um, but this is what God told me to do, and he showed me the door. The people who say that you're only out there doing it to get money um, for selfish reasons, and you know in your heart that that's not true, um, often that um, resistance comes from people closest to you. And when you're called to a mission, you have to press on whether or not you have opposition. Maybe that opposition is from yourself. I know I've had a lot of that. That negative self-talk, people telling you you can't do it, people telling you it's a hoax, people telling you it won't work, people telling you you're being selfish, whatever it is. Um, cling to a passion, whatever that is, whether that's young living or whether that's something else um, that is so strong that no matter what people say, and no matter what oppositions come against you, that you are willing to push through and do it anyway. Um, I felt a moral obligation in 2007, maybe late 2006, um, to share these products because I was sick. And I know what it feels like to be sick, and I know that there's people out there suffering. And so I knew I had to share. Um, years later, I realized, that there's people struggling financially. I, I grew up, you know, and um, there were struggles financially, and it makes marriages difficulty, difficult and whatnot. And I realized that there was a need for people to hear um, hope in the area of finances, and I got passionate, and I went out there. The thing that I didn't realize, and the thing that just hit me recently, is that I thought I had all the time, like, sometimes I got really, passionate and I couldn't stop and I just like you know I have this much time to save this many people and I would push 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 but the thing that really spoke to me this weekend I don't know if anybody said it or if God just put it in my head 
but is the fact that those people that are suffering, they don't want to wait until we, oh, I think I feel confident in teaching a class now. Okay, I'll teach now because I have all my act together. They don't want to wait. They're sick. They want answers now. They don't want to wait. Let people in sex trafficking and slavery and suffering, being abused, they don't want to wait until we have the finances. They want help now. Um, people praying for answers. They want purpose. They want a sense of belonging in people. They want um, people praying for something, to be a part of something bigger than themselves. They don't want to wait. They want it now. And that really spoke to me because um, on my journey, I couldn't stop sharing because how do you stop sharing something that changes your life? I mean, really. Um, how do you stop sharing something that changes your life? But what I realized also is, is this is not on my time. It's not on my time. And I woke the kids, we woke up this morning, and um, we were just talking about uh, time, time management or using our time wisely. And we were talking about our family mission, which is to go out and reach the world. And the fact that People don't want to wait. These kids don't want to wait. Adults in slavery don't want to wait. Parents that want to be kids, that want to be home with their kids, they don't want to wait until it's too late and their kids are out of the house. They want help now. So my mission is to go help as many people as fast as I can with boldness, with courage, facing opposition, knowing that God is on my side. And that every single person, I truly believe that if you're watching this now, or if you're on this team, um, I have prayed for many years, I've prayed people into existence. And if you're growing a team, I just want to tell you that the number one thing you can do is pray that God will send you people that need what you have. And um, so I have prayed, and I am on a mission to go change lives and to save them now and so I'm asking for your help because I can't do it alone I can't reach the world alone we can't get these products into every house in the world alone uh, we need to work together and make a difference and be willing to love people enough to step out of our comfort zones to change their lives and to change their lives as soon as we possibly can don't wait till you're comfortable don't wait till you're not busy don't wait till you have the finances. Trust, walk in obedience, and love, and let God do the rest. So I'm asking you that if you have a conviction to um, share the mission of wellness of purpose and abundance, um, have a door to share the mission. For me, it's sharing the gospel. And um, let me know that. I want to walk alongside you. I want to support you. I want to help you because the only way that um, any of us are going to get there is if we help each other, brainstorming ideas. We all have different gifts. We all have different talents. And I want to build a pipeline. I mentioned that last night. Build a pipeline, work together, and make a difference in this world. And um, leave a legacy for our families for generations to come. Not only our families here, but all around the world. Ask, and he'll give the nations to you.